Question 4.1 in the diagram below, Q has the coordinates of x is equal to 5 and y is equal to 2, and it's the center of a circle that intersects the y-axis at P, P having coordinates x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 6, and S. Now the tangent, A, P, B, at P, intersects the x-axis at B, and makes an angle alpha with the positive x-axis. So in other words, we have our angle here, alpha, A, B, O. And R is a point in the circle, and P, R, S is equal to theta. So R is a point in the circle, and PRS is equal to theta. Okay, so we've got alpha, we've got theta, we know the coordinates of P and Q. Great. We've also got a circle here. This is a tangent, so tan chord, definitely. Tan rad, no, there is no radius. Tangents from the same point? Nah. So 4.1, determine the equation of the circle in standard form. Well, we know the center of the circle, so we have values for AB. If we just do a quick distance formula calculation, so the distance of PQ, it's going to look something like that. It's just coming from our distance formula. Don't forget the root. So that's going to be 5 squared is 25. 4 squared is 16. It's 25 plus 16. That's going to give you a grand total of root 41. Okay. And that's PQ, which is R. And that's going to be R squared in the formula. So therefore, the equation of the circle is going to be x minus 5. That's our x coordinate, which is a plus y minus 2. We're going to square that as well. Square both brackets. Remember, we're just following this formula. And that's equal to root 41 squared. So the roots would just cancel each other out. And it's equal to 41. 4.2, calculate the coordinates of s. We need to understand that s is on the y-intercept. So we're going to use the equation of our circle. And we're just going to sub in x is equal to 0. Because at x is equal to 0, a y-intercept exists. So let's sub it in. 0 minus 5 squared plus y minus 2 squared is equal to 41. Let's simplify it. 5 squared is 25 plus y minus 2 in brackets squared is equal to 41. We need to multiply out these brackets. So we get 25 plus y squared minus 4y plus 4 is equal to 41. Okay, we just foil out these brackets and that's what we get. Let's make things a little bit prettier, equated to 0. So y squared on its own, just make it look nice in descending powers, minus 4y. Now all of this, so 25 plus 4 is 29. 29 minus 41, when we bring that 41 over, that's going to be equal to minus 12. Okay, what are the factors of a 12 that give us a negative 4? Well, that's going to be a minus 6 and a plus 2. Therefore, in our first bracket, y minus 6, y plus 2 is equal to 0. Therefore, y is equal to positive 6 or y is equal to a negative 2. And if you look very carefully, this y is negative. It's underneath the x-axis. So that is not equal to. And our only answer is y is equal to negative 2. Therefore, s has the coordinates. x is equal to 0 and y is equal to negative 2. And that was question 4.2. Question 4.3, determine the equation of the tangent APB in the form y is equal to mx plus c. Just going to erase the screen quickly with some jig. So firstly, let's get the gradient of PQ. Because the product of two lines that are perpendicular will give you negative 1. And why do these lines need to be perpendicular? Well, tan rad. Tan radius is the theorem that we are going to utilize here. So we are going to construct a radius just to see that where the tangent meets the radius, we have 90 degrees. So if we can get the gradient of PQ, and we can multiply that by the gradient of AB, B, and that equals negative 1, we would have gotten our gradient for AB, and we know that its y-intercept is 6. So, struggling to understand, let's put some numbers to it. So, MPB is equal to y2 minus y1, so 6 minus 2, over x2 minus x1, so we did the 6 minus 2, and now we're going to use 0 minus 5, x2 minus x1. Therefore, MPB is equal to negative 4 over 5. Okay, but now we know that, ooh, sorry, that is MPQ. Let me just correct that. So we've got MPQ times MAB. We know that their product needs to equal negative 1. So we have negative 4 over 5 here times MAB equals negative 1. If we divide both sides by negative 4 over 5, we get 5 over 4. And that is going to be the gradient of MAB. So in other words, M, or rather line AB, has the equation Y equals 5 over 4, so that's our gradient sorted, plus the Y-intercept, and that is 6. And that's it. 
4.4 calculate the size of theta so we know that the gradient of a b is equal to 5 over 4 so tan m is equal to theta or angle of inclination formula we know what the gradient is so that's tan 5 over 4 just plug it in your calculator sorry just made an error with that uh, tan alpha is equal to m we want to calculate alpha and 5 over 4 is what we just calculated so into your calculator shift tan 5 over 4 and alpha will be equal to 51,34 and that's it for the question sorry I made a mistake there I swapped the variables around sorry that was definitely my error and uh, yeah that's going to come from your formula sheet it's usually tan theta tan alpha tan beta it's completely interchangeable